and today we are going to do our tutorial on how to put your hair in a nice classical ballet bun. So to start, we have our materials. Um, I like a nice wide brush to pull our hair back into a ponytail. We also have a really fine tooth comb. This one is a genuine ace. We have our larger bobby pins, our smaller bobby pins, our little clips, and of course, hair nets. All of this you can find in the hair sections of grocery stores or markets. Um, I've gotten them all at Walmart, so that should work. So to start, you want to take your brush and as you're pulling your hair back into a ponytail, I try to make like a circle as I go around my head, pulling the hair nice and straight back. And you want to, especially as you're going over your part, wherever that might be, really pull that back. You're trying to get this right from the beginning as tight and flat to the head as possible. Then the reason why I like the wide angle brush is so that I can come up under and scoop all that hair in so that then when you get the hair into the ponytail, it's going to be nice and flat through there. There's a little bit of a part of your head that's kind of flat right here. And you want to try for a nice high bun to get your ponytail centered on that little section of your skull that's a little bit flat. So once you have the hair all pulled back, you're going to pull it into the ponytail. And you want to make sure that you get the ponytail as tight as possible. For me, I always make sure that I pull the elastic through three times. And then you're going to go ahead and pull it to tighten it to your head. We're going to take our fine tooth comb and you're going to go ahead and comb the hair back before you ever start putting the rest of your hair into a bun. That way any of the bumps will go right back where they won't be seen later. Now the next step is you want to start twisting your hair. And for me, for thick hair, we're going to take only the large bobby pins right now and you're going to twist and pin, but don't twist all of your hair around. Only twist what you're going to pin right at the beginning. And so then each time I put a body pin in, I'm going to make sure that I twist the hair again. And twist again. And see right there, we just keep twisting it around. But it never twists the part you are not pinning. And I am taking the bobby pins just a little bit down and in. Just to make sure you get enough hair in the bobby pin to keep it secure. Down and into the hair. And then as we get to our last little bits, you're trying to pin the little wisps in where they won't be seen. Now you can tell that this is already a pretty secure bun. It's not going to go anywhere. But now we're just looking at shaping because you can see that I've got some bumps around there. And so this is where our hairnet really comes in handy. And that's why I'm a big believer in not ever skipping a hairnet. So it's also going to help keep the hair secure as well. So you're just going to bring it through, twist, and around, and twist again. Depending on how much hair you have, you might be able to twist it more times over. Now, for thick hair like mine, if you've been using the big bobby pins, this is when we're going to switch to the smaller bobby pins. And we're just going to use them for shaping and a little bit extra security. So you want to kind of 
check in your mirror and see where some of the bumps are, where it's most uneven. And some of this you can kind of mash with your fingers and form it the way you want. But we're gonna try and feel any places that aren't super secure and put pins there in any places that are feeling kind of bumpy. And I don't like it if they're kind of open. I feel like they need to still be nice, tight bobby pins. And usually, I only put about five or so of these in. Now, once you get to this point, the only other thing you can do if you need to take your fine tooth comb again, you can try and go through one more time and smooth out any bumps. And if you find any bumps that you don't like, like I have one more little wispy right there. I'm going to try and pin in. But this is when you can take clips like this and then put them wherever you need to within your hair because they're not going to show up that much. Sometimes back here you might have some bumps but then you want to clip in and that will give you a really nice clean look. Alright, so now we have Jana here and I'm going to show you a different technique on her hair because my hair is really thick and her hair is more like your regular person's hair. So <laughs> you might need to use this technique if you have um, not quite as thick of hair. So she's got her hair in the really nice ponytail, nice and high. And we're going to do the same thing with as we start to twist. But with this one, I'm going to start with the small bobby pins. And we're only going to take the small bobby pins as we go around. The same uh, principle of down and in. You're trying to go under the elastic band with the bobby pin. So with her hair, now I'm kind of taking the end of the ponytail under what I've already pinned so that it'll maintain that nice smooth circle. So before we put the hair net on, show the camera. So see we've got a really nice shape and with the hair net we're going to make it an even nicer shape. So now, because we've only used the small pins up to this point, I'm going to take just a couple of our larger bobby pins, and this is going to be, for thinner hair, what we hope will really secure it. I mean, it's fairly secure right now. Shake your head and see how that feels. Yeah, that feels good. Um, and this will just really make sure that you could do about... 15 pirouettes and well, that's good. Keep hair secure. <laughs> you really gotta watch you jam out with that. That does feel better, like instantly. With those bits in. With the bigger ones. Yeah. And that should be enough. Yeah, that's just just three. That would be really good. Yeah. Alright guys, that's our bun tutorial. Thanks for watching. If this helped you at all, please leave us a comment below and let us know. And if you have any other video ideas you'd like to see, leave a comment as well. And we also are on, are on Facebook, uh, facebook.com backslash or forward slash and give us a like and leave us a comment. And yeah, thanks for watching and thanks. we'll see you soon. Bye!